And here we are on Uder's Island, the castle prison. We just made it through the puzzle range, thankfully. Now we're, I don't know, looking for Uder. <laughs> Open the cage, release us! Where are the keys? There are no keys, they're just a mechanism which you must turn the right direction. It's next to the door. Be careful! A ghastly Uder is in the lab. There's a boy with him, but he's not from our town. That must be Terry! Don't worry, I'll help you get out of there. Placement. Prison gears. What's the gear puzzle? Oh. The cage mechanism has two gears, and activating it will release imprisoned children. In order to make the gears move, I must place the various colored blocks correctly. Two of the same blocks must not touch each other, not even diagonally. Also, the colors must appear in equal amount in both gears. Okay. Well, I usually start with... Okay, green, green. Three greens. Three greens. I get I get the point with the blue here, like that the blue can't touch any other blues around here, which is interesting, but yeah. build around those in the middle those middle things there I can't put anything there. Uh, what? <laughs> this was a lot harder. Both gears have 16 fields, which means that each of the circles has to appear four times in a gear. In the left gear, all of the blue blocks can be arranged in only one way. Okay. Yeah, okay, well, the blues can't be there. None of those can be blue. So I guess that one or that one can be blue. If we put it there, and we're blocking. So only that one and. Oh yeah, but we have to put out four of them. Aha! Yes, because that's part of that gear. Oh, that's true, we can only put them like this. Ah, okay, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Those are the blue ones, they have to be like that. We have to have four of each, okay, so greens. One. Oh, yeah, that, there's one, so two. Three. And we can put this anywhere. Oh, actually, we could put put one there. That blocks all of those. There, we could put one there, one there. Yeah, okay, but I think we have to have one here at least. Okay, reds. There's three more reds. Okay, we can do there. There, there, and there. There, there, and there. So greens would have to be... Yeah, I think we have to have one there. One, whichever of these. We have to have yellows. Two. Can't have four yellows though, no.
Oh, we can have a red here, though. A yellow there. And a green here. Could work. Um. So do we do this one, then? What can be here? Only a blue one. Here. I don't know. Here, we can only have a green one. Here has to be a red one. Here has to be a yellow one. Here has to be a green one. Here has to be a blue one. Here has to be a red one. We only have two reds. Three greens, three blues, two yellows. Mm, I guess it doesn't much matter how we put them. Or matter, matter, but. We can have a yellow there and a yellow there. Because we can't have any yellows here, but we can have there and there. But we can have a red here. Means that we would have some blue here. We have four blues. We could have our last green here. Yeah. Oh yeah, because we can't have green there. Or green there. We have to have a yellow there in that case. Red and yellow. Please, please. Yes. are unlocked. Take the other children and get out of here. Thank you, thank you. Good luck. And good luck. And good luck. That's it, May. Your brother's behind the door. Uter's probably in there too. Are you ready? You bet I am, Major Doyle. Major Doyle, let's go save my brother. <gasps> oh. Just a little bit longer and the machine will get the full strength of the crystal in a little while. You'll be the last attraction of my traveling circus. Me! Terry! What? Who are you? How did you get in? Uter, my old friend. You see, all this has paid off. What? What has paid off? After all this trouble, I've finally got you! I sent all the men I guard for that crazy order to stop you, but you always come back. Like some kind of bad dream. You know what kept me going all this time? Revenge. The thought of this very moment. You're so sure of your security power. I've come to finish you once and for all. Mayor Doyle? What are you talking about? We have to see my brother and- Stop you little brat. i put up with you long enough. I've been using you and your abilities to bring me to Uter. But- But how? Why? You sure tricked her, didn't you, Doyle? She believed you were just a poor little ex-mayor who wanted to save Dragonville? Doyle and I started the experiments together, combining the machines using crystal energy. A few years ago, while I was still dragging those mayor, Uter and I found a cave below the town. The cave was an entrance to a large network of underground passages. Then we stumbled upon the crystals, and we realized they're a source of an unknown and unthinkable energy. We started the digging and exploration. All those pipes in town, those were all put there to calm the people. The vibration of those mechanisms made the citizens obedient. We soon realized that the crystal energy had the property of causing mutations in humans. That's how the second stage of our plan got started. We wanted to explore the effect of crystal energy on living creatures. But some time ago, my best friend decided to betray me and take over everything we'd been working at. Because you were lacking vision, Doyle, and I simply got bored with you. You tried to destroy me, to capture and kill me, but I always got away. When I saw your, her brother, the one who got lost in town, I realized he was my chance to get you. Soon after, I captured him and tied him up. Let the midnight guards know a new child was running free in town. But why? You don't get it, do you? I can't just walk around town or go underground. But you, a cute little girl, you are. You were my ticket. Y you used me? You're you're a monster! I'm a man who does whatever necessary to achieve his goal, you little brat. You were more capable than I thought. In any case, it's too late now. The boy is the subject of the last experiment. The experiment, the machine will be calibrated just right. 
The machine will be able to give anybody amazing strength and endurance. Just imagine it. That's why you turn all the children into these stra those strange animals, right? Exactly why. The crystal energy is quite an unstable power. Everything I did was necessary to discover the proper way of harnessing the energy of the crystals. You're a fool if you think I'll just let you go. You're not going to get away with this. That power is mine. Don't come any closer. The machine is still not calibrated right, and the moment for revenge has come. You are not going to stop me now. <gasps> oh, Mape. I thought I was finished. What button did you press? Memory erase. I have no idea what's about to happen, but that seemed like the best solution. Ah! Upon exiting the machine, Uter and Doyle not only mutated, but also lost all of their memory, including the one about being human. As punishment for their crimes, the citizens of Dragonville placed them in the restored Crypto Zoo as its main attraction. All of the mutated children were turned back into their original human forms. To show their gratitude, the people of Dragonville made a large flying kite for May and Terry, which they used to set out toward their home. Hello again! My adventure in Dragonville might be over for now, but the story doesn't end here. I met a lot of people, overcame dangers, and solved riddles and puzzles along the way. You can replay all the puzzles you've encountered and the ones skipped during your adventure. Click on the bonus puzzles button to solve story and bonus puzzles. Have fun! Ah, now we get here. Okay, does Terry see anything? No. Alright, so now we can just... Now we're they're back in Balloonville, and they're just sitting here, and if we restart the game, we can play all the bonus puzzles. Ooh, I want to play all the hidden pictures. Yeah, I might do that. But, well, that means that we are done with the game, with the story. Go back to the main menu here. That was Maze Mysteries, the Secret of Dragonville. So, yeah, I mean, I get that it's... Not all the puzzles are fun to watch, obviously. Um, but... I don't know, I thought the story was quite interesting in itself. And, I mean... Fairly obvious twists, I guess. But still, I thought it was a cute story. I like the characters and the art style. And, uh... Some of the puzzles were really fun. So... Um... But cool! Hope you guys enjoyed it, or at least partly enjoyed it. <laughs> and all the quirky characters and stuff, yeah. Um, thank you all very much for watching and sharing this game with me, and, uh, yeah, I hope to see you for lots of other adventures, whatever game we're playing next and stuff, so, take care of yourselves and bye-bye!